Hey, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is inspired by Animal Crossing. The villagers from the game express a lot of their emotions through dialogue, and this is one of the main reasons why players create such big connections with them. I wanted to experiment and see if I could achieve a similar system using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Figure out the best way to display the dialogue text, create a system to better express the villagers' emotions, and add some final animations, particles, and effects. As always, I started by importing Jamo, the official 3D character from the channel. Since this project involves interactions with other villagers, I've also added extra copies of Jamo's model, but with different colors. Before starting the actual display of the dialogue, I wanted to add an extra detail to the villagers by making them look at the player whenever they are close enough. For this, I've used the animation rigging package that allows me to add a multi-aim constraint to the villager's head bone, making it face the player. I've also implemented a new camera that would activate when the dialogue starts. This camera has a Cinemachine target group as a target which basically allows me to find a middle point between the player and the villager. For the UI, I've created sprites for the dialogue bubbles using the Animal Crossing New Horizons visual as reference. Then, I added the TextMesh Pro component to both the villager's dialogue and name. This would allow me to create stylized text in a much simpler way. I figured the best way to slowly display the text in the bubble is by sending the entire string of dialogue and then modifying the amount of visible characters in the Text Mesh Pro component. With that, I could build a coroutine that shows each character of the text at a certain speed. Then I created a simple system where I can store the villager's data like its name and color and also an array of dialogues. TextMesh Pro has a lot of stylization options to change the look of the text. But for this particular project, there is a lot more custom things that can be done to enhance the character's expression. I was lucky enough to collaborate with my good friend Will Enders on this task. He's a great developer and we've actually built some stuff together in the past, so I was more than happy to work with him. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out some of his amazing games. Will created a parsing system that allowed custom tags to be added and filtered from the text to create extra behavior. So he implemented tags for the speed of the text delivery and also to trigger a specific character emotions. With this system in place, I started downloading extra animations in Mixamo to each individual emotion option. Not only do I make a specific animation play with a certain emotion, but I also change the villager's eye expression by offsetting the texture of it. By creating some text blocks with different speeds and emotions, it already makes the dialogue much better. Of course, a big part of Animal Crossing's dialogue is the sound that the villagers make when speaking. So what I did was I created a new event for whenever the text character appeared and made it play a different sound depending if it was a letter or a punctuation. Then I found a robot voice sound online processed it a bit, and selected different bits of it to play it randomly. Since I already had the information of when the voice sound should be played, I created a quad that would scale according to that event to represent the villager's mouth. Then I added another custom tag on the text for any kind of action. These custom actions would allow me to trigger things such as extra sounds and particles. So I created some particle examples that I can activate at any time and some sounds that accompanied them. To add a small touch to the UI, I added a shader that adds a subtle wobbly movement to the dialogue bubble sprite. And after some final adjustments, this is how it turned out.
To check out and download the project, there's a link for the project's repository on the description of this video. Mixing Jam is supported by some amazing people on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.